All right, welcome to another tutorial in Maya. Today we are going to look at blobs. Yes, that's right, blobby surfaces, and it's a particle. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little animation like this using the blobby particle. Um, so sit back, uh, check this out. Um, let's see here how it works. We've got um, particles. Basically, these are just particles, and they're assigned this blob, um, blobby particle, basically. So um, that's essentially what it looks like as a render and uh, remember you're going to be computationally it's a very expensive using particles so you kind of want to be set to low quality on everything um, and I'm going to kind of walk you through the process of how to set something like this up so let's get started I'm going to just uh, move this render view uh, I think I'll just delete it and check it out here's what it looks like as it's um, kind of rolling through the scene I'll just sort of start this and you can see where what you see uh, on your viewport isn't really what you get with particles. Um, they kind of are a little mysterious that way. So anyway, let's go back to the beginning of the animation. And before we get going here, I'm going to show you a couple of things. I have my render settings right now at just using Maya software. So you might want to just use your Maya software. And I'm just going to render out a small view at 640 by 480 when we do some couple of quick renders. So um, you can use uh, Mental Ray or Maya, it doesn't matter, but uh, you know, it does get a little more uh, time consuming on your renders if you use uh, Mental Ray and high quality and all sorts of other stuff. So anyway, you want to just sort of set up the uh, animation first. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the scene here and, and we'll show you what I've got kind of going at the moment. We'll do a quick breakdown. Um, as you'll notice, I've got the particles up here. They sort of are in a, a grid, and we'll show you how to set up that grid or, um, in a minute. And uh, in here, I've got some text, okay? So you'll notice that if I hit play, uh, you'll see the particles come down, and they're sort of um, reacting against lots of different things in here, um, mainly a plane and um, a couple of other elements. I've made this into a collider, and then I have some elements down here that we can't see because uh, I basically turned the visibility off but they're controlling kinda how these blobs are moving around and if I um, were to look at the outliner over here um, if I click on my plane you'll notice that I have my plane turned off so if I turn the visibility on that plane on there it is right there and if I turn my um, say pyramid on I'm gonna turn the visibility on there and there's that pyramid so I'm gonna go ahead and play the animation and we're gonna see what happens uh, you basically don't want to see those elements, but I wanted them to sort of do some stuff, break them up in the middle, make things spill out, um, basically control the animation a little better with something like that. And you can notice that they're kind of off-centered, you know, I don't have them like flat up and down and stuff, so that kind of gives you a better dynamic flow when you're doing this kind of stuff. So there you go. All right, just so you're aware of that, I'm going to go ahead and um, start a new project. So. I'll just do a file and then maybe save this scene and then uh, let's just start with a new scene. We'll kind of walk you through this uh, through the basics. Okay, so here we are on our viewport and I have a black background chosen right now. It's going to be a little hard to see this um, in, in a uh, starting out, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to come down here and set our timeline to about maybe 300 frames. That should work good. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, create, uh, make sure you're in your um, dynamics menu set and come up here into particles and we want to use this particle tool real quick and what that is is it's just a tool it lets you create exactly what that is, is a particle so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just basically click here uh, um, well you can you can create individual particles one by one by one by just clicking like if I were just to click there click there click there click there click there you can see where okay they're showing up as a grid right now because I have create particle grid turned on alright well if I turn that off I'm gonna go back here and select those that I just set and I'm just gonna delete them and now if I go to my particle tool and open that particle tool up I can set um, any number of particles but I don't want to create a grid just yet I was going to show you the method of creating singular particles okay well I clicked on the um, grid there once and you can see barely that there's a particle there okay well I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, hit enter 
it shows up as a little green spot there and then in the outliner is sometimes where you need to find these guys you can find your particle shape right there and we could go ahead and just move that singular particle straight up and uh, they're usually or oriented on the origin there in the middle so there I have it all right well let's say we wanted to, to um, play with this particle um, it doesn't really have much going on there it's just a little tiny point so if we wanted to make that into a blobby particle, for example, um, all we have to do is let's choose our particle up here, our particle shape, maybe come into your tabs, look for your particle shape, and then scroll down until you get to your render attributes. And that's where we find this um, particle render type. It's a point right now. But if we change that out real quick uh, to the blobby surface, okay now it's now it looks like that okay so it's a little bit bigger now let's do something else here um, let's create a, a quick um, Lambert for our, our particles I'm just gonna assign particles with this color because it'll be, make it much easier to see um, as we're working with them so I'm gonna just choose green except that's Lambert 2 alright so I'm gonna come over here we'll select that particle and I'm going to come over here and assign existing material and Lambert 2. Okay, so there it is. Now, if I were to do a render on this, I'll just do a quick render. And uh, you'll see there's the particle. It shows up right there. So it's in there. It's doing its thing. It's looking how we want it to. But really, uh, we're going to do something a little, little bit better. Okay, we're going we're gonna to create a grid now. So that's basically how you create a single blobby particle. Um, you may or may not want that. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just select that right there. And I'm going to delete that particle. And now I'm going to come back up here into the particle tool. And we'll call that up again with our options. And you can double click on it over here to bring up the um, options box over here too. So what do I want to do on this one now is I'm going to create a particle grid. Okay, and I'm just going to reset the tool to default settings. I'll hit create particle grid. It has a default setting. Mine does anyway, 0.5. Um, I think, uh, you know, you can, the, the denser they are, you'll get the hang of it. This sort of gives you a, a, you know, every half grid there's a particle. So I'm just going to set this to one for the moment. All right, and now I want to come down here. And I want to click somewhere in this box and somewhere in this box. So maybe I'll just choose sort of the middle point right there. And I'll put a uh, click once and then come over here, click once. And then hit my return button on the, uh, on the keyboard there. And there they are. That's, that's our particles. So we just created a particle grid. Um, basically a whole bunch of particles. So that's kind of what we want to start with. And um, we'll move those up a little bit kind of get them out of our way so we can work with them. And um, while we're at it, we have these selected. Let's just um, put a, a field on them. Let's add the gravity because we want them to be falling. So I'm going to go to fields, gravity, and add a gravity field to them. When I play the animation now, you'll see they, they just fall through space. Okay, that's cool. It's kind of where we want to start. Now, let's come up here and create a polygon plane. Okay. And on this plane, we'll just make it a big plane right there. Okay, so there's our plane. And I'll click off. And you may want to come into your, um, your shaded view right here. Now, you can see where I can't really tell my particles from, from here. So we'll go ahead and click on our particles. And then right mouse click, come down to assign existing material. And I'm going to assign them that Lambert too. Now we can see what they're doing. And we can hit there. They're just going to fall through space. All right, great. Now let's set them up for uh, something to collide with. Okay, um, in this case, we'll just create some various geometry. We might want to do a cube. So we'll go ahead and do a cube there. And uh, let's see, let's do a, um, let's create a, uh, a sphere, put a sphere in there somewhere. And we'll create like, say, a pyramid. All right, and a pyramid. There we go. So pyramid up. All right, so now I've got some stuff going on in there. What I want to do is I want to connect these now. Um, I know that I'm going to want to make my plane, you know, the particles collide with the plane. So I'll just come up here and, and choose my particles first, okay? And then choose my plane right there. 
and then I'm going to come up to particles and I'm going to make those collide. All right. So now if I go ahead and hit play, they should come down and bounce up and down off the, the grid. And you can see where they're cohesive. They're just sort of, they're not colliding with anything yet. And they're all sort of just going up and down. Well, that's cool. That's what we want. So I'm going to come back here a little bit. And now we're going to basically choose our, our particles first. And we're also going to choose one of these objects right there. That's going to be our sphere. And we'll do the same thing in a series here. We'll say make collide. Okay, now I'm going to choose my particles again. And then I'm going to shift click this cube. I'm going to come to particles and make collide. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing right here. Grab your particles first, shift click on that object, particles, and make collide. Okay, now we have a full on collision happening here. So let me go ahead and just press those and see what happens. All right. So that's where we're, that's a, basically our starting point. And you can see what, what's happening is that there's, you know, some various things happen with those particles, but the ones that are just hitting here are just bouncing around. So let's look at that first and fine tune our plane real quick, and then we'll get to, uh, we'll get to the rest. So I'm going to come in here to the plane first. And if you come into your tab section, you have your plane and you have your plane shape. Let's look at our uh, plane shape for the moment. And we're going to come under, um, let's see here, let's, let's go to our geo connector. Okay, that plane, basically, since it's colliding with this, has a geo connector on it. And resilience is really where the bounce of that plane is. Okay, so I'm going to take the resilience down to say almost nothing. And watch what happens. Um, the uh, particles as they hit that plane sort of just stick and don't really go anywhere. And now I have particles that sort of bounce out because they had a different kind of surface trajectory to go off of. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so now we've kind of dampened that and, and that's a good thing. Now friction, if you want to add friction to the plane, this will just sort of add more friction so the uh, particles will stick a little better. And you'll see where if we click down there, I'm going to, um, first I'm going to click off of there to de-highlight my plane so you can see that a little better. Now you can see the particles, bam, they kind of stick where they are, and there they go. So in this case, um, we don't want stuff to stick to our plane. We want it to kind of slide off of there. So I'm just going to reduce my friction down to nothing for the moment. Okay, now the, um, the same thing goes for here. This uh, will have a geo connector as well, your, your sphere. And if you click on your cube, you're going to have a geo connector. You click on your pyramid, you'll see this geo connector. So this, um, you know, controls the same properties of like bounciness or bounce and uh, friction for particles to stick to there. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of bring my resilience down a little bit on um, the geo connector four on there. And we'll do the same thing here and we'll do the same thing on the sphere. OK, and there we go. So now you'll notice, boom, those things go down there. They stick, they go out. All right, so we're getting a little bit better fine tuning going now. Okay, so now let's do, do this. Let's uh, turn our grid here into blobby spheres. All right, so what I'm gonna do is come over here and grab our, grab our particles. And I wanna come up here and find our particle shape. And under render attributes on the particle shape, you'll see where they're set at points right now. We're going to come over here and switch those to the blobby surface. Now it's a blobby surface. If I hit play, you'll see where those will come smashing down like that. And there you go. Okay, so now one more quick thing to play around with. Um, you can add, uh, for the current render type, type, if you add attributes four, go ahead and click that and you'll see where you can bring your radius up a bit on those. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick one of these. And there it is. So, you know, play around with those, those a lot. You're going to have to do a lot of adjustment between all of these different controls and kind of to find the right look. So, just remember what I've told you on here. You might want to use some objects that you don't see and, um, you know, switch your um, friction around a bit on each one of these. Maybe mess with your gravity a little bit. You might want to turn on your gravity field and turn that all the way up. And uh, that way you'll have your particles will have, you know, full on gravity. So there you go. 
I hope you had a good time watching this, and we'll see you for the next one. And remember, read a book.